Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have finally found the courage to get out of my comfort zone and walk around the Sacred Valley interviewing strangers, 10 questions. And this is where I'm hoping to shift my YouTube channel to, is make it more about the people around me rather than about my own life. Because I'm running out of things to talk about. And I think that there are so many interesting people out there whose story would be also interesting for my viewers to see. So this is it. I'm hoping to grow from this experience because this is scary to put yourself out there and approach strangers to ask them certain questions for my YouTube channel. I'm sure people are going to reject me. And as I walk to town, because... Yes, it's a far walk. As I walk to town, I am preparing myself for failure, <laughs> but also success because I have fear of both. But I know that this is how I am to grow. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lana and I live in the Sacred Valley here in Peru. And this is it doing things that scare me. Yeah. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm here with Eric Garcia. Okay. I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. He is the owner of this restaurant. What is it called? Uh, Jerusalem. I know to work in Ante Manager. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I mean, we, we are here. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, what is something you regret happening to you in grade school that you can't stop thinking about? At the high school? Sure. At the middle school, well, all the times I was uh, one of the leaders in the uh, school, so probably the study constantly, it is fun for me, you know, and other things, and uh, taught all my books inside me, it is a pleasure for that's a good memory. That's a good memory. What do you regret that maybe something happened? Mm. Probably one year, two years, but in the side of the school, well, um, probably I want study another uh, major, like uh, engineering or something like that. But. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is one person that you think about all the time? Uh, obviously, uh, the woman I love. Uh, probably my family, but the woman I love is my motivation for came up this place. I live in Mexico. I meet her in Mexico. And, <laughs> uh, well, I'm looking for her. I just right now try to recover her existence. I need to work in a lot because I spent practically all my money for came up this place. But it's good travel, good trip. So she stayed in my mind all the time, in my heart. And this is my motivation for continued life. Looking for some miracle, probably. But I'm still here and I enjoy the Bali a lot. It is like a beautiful place for healing, for, for feel another part of the pressure of the world, on the world. You know, just be free, only be chilling, relax. Obviously, in another parts of the world have more money, but in here you have peace, you know, all the people walking and this beautiful culture in here. Yeah, yeah I agree. So who is this woman? How did you guys meet? Uh, she is Eva Magyar. I um, entered in a beautiful relationship the last year with her. She's a Hungarian girl and she's supposed to travel to Latin America for her birthday, her TV birthday. So she needs to realize her plane. So I am here for uh, see if I can walk beside her mm. and do a family probably. And she's my motivation for being honest. Wow. I love that. Yeah, it's going to work out. What is the most painful thing that you have ever been told? 
if even I told someone, what are you supposed to I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> it is a good point, right? But uh, well, probably I suffered some trauma say, in my life. You know, I am a man, and I suppose don't cry. But sometimes hurts. You know, sometimes the female hurts me, and it is it is a good. I learned how to survive, but definitely so painful for me. It is the way of the system of the economy, because you know I need to work twenty years for uh, stay at the same level for one person of the Europe only work one a year so it is a little bit unfair you know like a 24 one so sometimes thanks God I uh, in my life I have been a lot of relationship with uh, different women in the world but it's only like the adventures you know I don't can't took it I want family or, or create something more for the same reason because you know, another man came with a lot of more money and it's not a difficult decision for some women, you know? Yeah, I know. Okay. How old are you? 32. 32. Yeah. You look good. I'm 31. <laughs> okay. And um, what are you most proud of? Of me? Yeah. Well, I can do anything and I go to any sports. So in my life, my health, my condition, my adaptation at uh, water, for example, I'm a swimmer, mm -hmm. I'm a safe word. So it is a gift for me, I can swim in any sea around the world, in any water. You know, for me it is like a privilege to have this type of sensations, because probably I don't have a lot of money, but I have a lot of abilities. And all of these abilities and creation in myself continue with me the rest of my life, you know. I'd be proud of that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. What is your favorite memory to think about? Awake with my wife. Well, well, well to woman, I want to be my wife. Awake, her, her eyes. Mm. Even tonight could be better, right? But awake is better, I think, now, you know? Because nobody, it is for sure the next day. And when you are awake and you feel loved, in the first time, when you see the light, for me it is my, 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 one of my best memories in all my life. You know? mm. And probably in the next future, when the smile of my daughter could be, you know, you know, I have mm. a lot of plans, but I think <laughs> yeah. I like that. Okay. Um, can you share a time when you were really glad that you followed your intuition? And what, would, what was the outcome? <coughs> wild freedom. <laughs> freedom, I love that. Yeah, wild freedom and, and uh, wisdom. Mm. You know, when you broke the rules, when you follow your own way and you don't hear anybody, obviously you need to hear all the world and all around. But in the inner vision, you know, when you follow your intuition, your, your mm, knowledge, your rules, because some people don't know things, so they don't can act in these things. It is like the same in the language. Some people don't can move, and it's not for they don't want, it's for they don't have money enough, or they don't can speak another language, so, or, or, you know, you know, the space in the mind is important too. I, I find freedom in my mind. For me, I don't have fear for travel and staying in all part of the world because I'm a man probably. I hear about some parts of the world, like the violence of women, some testimonies too. And, well, this is a motivation, you know, the, the, the people find uh, they looking for sometimes and sometimes have accidents or miracles. But, just take chilling in the life and learn, 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 learn a lot. And that's, that's how I, I think. Hear more at the child and hear the silence of the old man or the old woman is a good practice for me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, do you consider yourself to be awakened? And what does that mean for you? <laughs> Well, it's like to all, all, all 
oh. <laughs> come on, no, nobody now, you know. Uh, the people have uh, some limits in her brain, and if they continue around this limit, they enter in another dimensions, in another space, in another maps. Continue be the same world, you know. But it's it's important and create step by step some things for the future because for me it is stay awake. You know how the people pass her lives thinking only and try to fight with the system, but they <laughs> they don't create nothing. You know, it is better if you talk with the people, say some like you can study any learn language, travel, the best things in the world. You know, have books of the maximums, uh, words of memories of a lot of people. Try to um, sharing this knowledge, you know, try to sharing the best memories of all the spirits in the books, in, in, in the story, could be the real awakening, you know, in, the, in this era and information, we can access uh, any type of information, but I told you, not, not all the bodies have the conditions for do some things. I study physics, study chemistry, I study biology, mathematics, could be better for all of us, you know, try to plan to have some system like the child's learn after the 12, 15 years of technology on the planet and after that we'll create some community spiritual uh, like biology, energies, some, some different things, you know. Obviously the power the government have the one status for, but you don't can fight with a uh, thousand and thousand of years. You probably can know a thousand of thousand of years and after that well you create for almost one day in the life of all the people and I believe that that's enough. Mm -hmm. What do you think we can predict in the next five to ten years for this earth? Uh, well if the people continue in this situation like the technology and uh, information access you know we kind of sharing experience with us, for example, have a lot of people, have a lot of money, and they can give up another people, you know, no, no, obtain money for work, obtain money for enjoying some activities. We can create electricity, for example, if if some government paid at the people for do exercise, you know, a lot of people go directly to do exercise for, they receive some, like, a gifts, but they can, uh, you know, create system like electricity or like uh, biology, biochemistry or or some nutrition way, you know, create some systems like, not like a utopy, but yeah, like for the child, try to mutate or continue evolution and the evolution, you know, more sports and sport women. Obviously, the adaptation of the sports is, is the better for the women. People stay only in the network, in the cell phone, in the computers. It is not like life, you know, that sedentary people and sickness for, for the body don't move. So I believe don't work anymore because the machines can work. Only building, building bodies, building minds and paid for that. Mm -hmm. and I believe this, like, the five, ten years, I see uh, the people more, more unity, you know. A lot of countries came at uh, different places, 20, 30 nationalities, and they are in community. Don't, don't matter how country they are because change their moods, you know. It, it is incredible, but, for example, a lot of people in Israel is still stayed in war and they have like a mind in war, they see and change the place and they immediately find peace and some things like that, you know. This, that difference is only for, for the, for, for ten other people make the rules and that is the point, you know. If more people create groups of meditation, less people took a weapon, you know, yeah. it's simple. Yeah, I agree. Um, thank you for that. If you had to talk 
for 15 minutes straight on a stage about anything at all, what would you choose to share with your audience? Some memories of people changed the world. You know, like a speech that created with all the memories of beautiful minds and women and men in her times change a bit of the atmosphere, you know, like uh, Malcolm, like, like Mahama Gandhi, like uh, Sor Juana, people uh, that they do something, you know, and I try to share in 15 minutes, not like uh, Greta, you know, like uh, they don't do nothing, I thought like that. she is a beautiful woman too, and, and try to create peace in that, and that is the way it uh, the woman uh, with power, the young woman with uh, two, three generation of the uh, capitalist power and period, try to change or do something, you know, but the, the child, the, the boys. And probably I talk about protect the next generations because the time is faster, you know. <laughs> I am the next generation, so it's supposed to be one of the younger generation and I'm older for, you know, I have of the life and was super faster. So I try to sharing the best words and the motivation for another people and try to protect of the child, but really talk about who the people have a lot. They don't need it a lot, you know, probably it is the pay of the uh, thousand of thousand of families and continue with this type of, but I try to create, for example, in, in Latin America, one unity in all the countries of the land. Latin America could be uh, some equilibrium for China, for United States, for Europe, you know, try to create a one balance. And why not create a one money for all the world, only for a one association, probably for the people can access, you know. If you do exercise in Greece, in Russia, in the United States, the world can pay you to a bit, you know, in any part for do some activities, mm -hmm. like uh, clean the water or, 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 you know, some some things. But I don't familiarize it a lot with this type of organizations, but try to speak to with the leaders of the world could be a good idea and sharing the best things for, for us in the world. For example, if 10 countries more powerful building some towns around the world for the people don't have, they don't spend a lot, you know, they don't spend a lot, only a couple of millions <laughs> and create a bit communities, bit, bit, bit a bit, and in 10 years probably uh, like, uh, like a bit, you know, uh, Colmena complete of Colmena of of people help people because <laughs> a lot of people with a lot of money they say some like well the people need work they can do it but obviously don't obviously don't they don't see the war they don't see it how all their men took it lives took money took blood and now they think about I have this one because I'm a child of the goddess not so much <laughs> so. That's that's the point. Try to create some equilibrium and balance, and that's all. Because, for example, me, for be honestly, I don't need a lot. I only need feed myself and enjoy the time. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's simple. simple life here in Pisac, yeah. in the valley. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And last question: yeah. Are you happy? Uh, if. Uh, uh, Yes, I'm happy, but could be more happy. And probably the body is continuing growing up, you know? The happiness is a one state of the spirit, not on the body. But yeah, definitely, I, I think if you have more freedom, you have more happy. If you have more resources, you have more happiness mm -hmm. too. So the people in here are happy only like awake in the morning, see the sun, hear the 
the river and uh, took some eggs of the chickens and some milk. You know, this is happiness too. But for me, if I stay with my woman, is happiness for the rest of my life. I believe in that. My daughter, my partner, my life don't don't important the place important the the home the state of home with somebody sharing your life see another eyes and continue the creation this is happiness too kiss someone away with her for me I'm happy but you know I continue working all the day If the people don't work one day and they enjoy all the day, can create more happiness. Just like the monster ring, you you know, not screams, only smiles. <laughs> and that's how. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs>